Right then, lads, welcome back to the Alpine career mode. Today we're having a triple whammy. We are having Baku, Canada and Britain. And then later this week you're going to have 50% of Austria because these are 25%. And then you're going to have 25% of France and Hungary in a single video. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going, well two reasons. One, I'm going away, so I need to just get caught up in two. But I've not got much to do this week before I go away. And I was just like, you know what, I've only done like six races and the game's been out a month. Let's let's try get to at least the real life half season break before I go away and then I can have my own holiday break. Then come back and then get back on it with the 50% races every other day. And hopefully then I can keep to that schedule as well. Because I'm going to be trying to stick to 50% races until at least, until at least I... Go into sixth form or college. I'm not going to tell you which I'm doing. But yeah. You know. that That's basically the plan. So we go here into our Q1 lap at Baku. The fastest lap so far. I think it's about to pop up. It is a. It is a. 42 flat by Ricardo. We set a 41.8. Which I, I knew we could go way faster than that. Because it was a pretty scruffy lap. But we still get through in P9. And I simulate the rest of the session as well. Uh, so I didn't even go out for a second run. However, in Q2, it started pouring. I thought the rain would get lighter as we went down the session. However, it got heavier in the middle. Which meant at the end, the track conditions were worse than at the start. Meaning that I lost out and went five and a half seconds Threading slower. Through the driver grid order so yeah, that's just unfortunate. Race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday. And he'll start from pole position. And it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Leclerc, Carlos Sainz, and Norris, Sonoda, Perez, Fernando Alonso, and Valtteri Bottas, Ricardo, Gasly, Sebastian Vettel, Cox, Joe, Stroll, Mick Schumacher, and Alex Albon, Latifi, and Kevin Magnussen fills the... And I'm joined once again by... Right then, boys. So, heading into the back of the race now. But, yeah, as I said, I it, the main thing about me getting all of these races done is genuinely because I feel like I've lacked on making content. I feel like by now, considering it's been a month, I should have done a load of races. I feel like I should start doing more, like, double whammies, triple whammy races and stuff. Because, like... I know at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter how many episodes I do. I could literally do, like, four episodes for a whole season. I know no one would really care, because the content would actually be quite short for each race. So, I, I just... It's whatever, man. And I, I'll just... I'm actually tempted to do that. Because I can tell you right now the races we have left. One sec, I'm gonna, I have to move across my room. So I can tell you right now what the races are that we have left. Um, because I did write it down somewhere. We still have Belgium, Italy, Mexico, Brazil, and Abu Dhabi. Now, I could do Brazil, Belgium is a 25%, make it a shorter episode. I could do Italy is 50, because I like Italy. Mexico a 25, Brazil a 50, Abu Dhabi a 25. There we go. And let's say we did the exact same calendar this season as we did last season. One sec. We are missing four races from the start, and I can't remember which ones they were. I think they were Bahrain, Imola, Australia, and... I can't remember the other one, actually. We won in Bahrain. Australia, we actually did okay. I'm pretty sure I think we finished, like, P9. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not very sure. But, yeah... I mean, as you can see right now, we sat behind Norris and Alonso, our teammate, for pretty much the whole first stint, and then we boxed a lap earlier than everyone else, as you are probably going to see in just a minute. Um, but yeah, that that's basically the plan. We are probably going to throw in some 25% races, so that means I could do Belgium and Italy in one video. I could do Mexico and Brazil in one video, and then the Abu Dhabi finale video. So, that might be the plan, which I'm pretty down to do. If you guys are down, I mean, I'm probably not going to 
have too much backlash on this considering like five to ten people watch my videos and none of them even leave a comment so that's actually a good thing but yeah so we are still on lap one here i think i'm just showing out the rest of the lap and uh yeah so we pit on lap onto lap six um and it is actually a very very slow stop so we get the optimal turn and however there is a problem to attaching the rear right rear right and because of that we have to get held up by bottas and album which costs us like i think three seconds in the pits and um by the time the other cars come out we were behind them all and yeah ricardo jumped us and perez jumped us which meant we were out the points and then vettel eventually got past us and i was like you know what on the final lap we'll come get past him for p11 and you know me boys i run with flashbacks and right here i dnf and i should have flashbacks and just gone oh p12 progress from p14 on the grid or p11 progress from p12 but i was just annoyed at this race because the fact that i got jumped by both of them by Ricardo and Perez because it was slow start. It really annoyed me. And at this point, like, this DNF was also so stupid as well. I actually didn't do anything here. I actually just tapped the curve a tiny bit and I was gone. And I was just like, no, I don't care. Alonso gets P6. Hamilton wins from Verstappen, Leclerc, Russell, Sainz, Fernando, uh, Perez, Yuki, Lando, and Ricardo. Vettel just outside the points. And then it would have been myself, Gasly, Stroll, and Latifi. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not too fussed, but we're just going to move into Canada. Now, Canada is a track I actually like. It's uh, pretty decent. It's got decent racing as well, contrary to belief. I believe this track's very nice. I love the flow of it. And when I was doing league racing, there were some tracks that I put a lot of effort into practicing, such as Silverstone, Canada, Bahrain, Austria, uh, Hungary, Baku, tracks like that. That I put a lot of practice into. Um, and I ended up actually getting decent results in those races. I think in Hungary I came outside the top 10. Because I uh, obviously I'm very good at spinning and DNFing. And I span a few times. Did a weird strategy. And I still got fastest lap by like a second. So I showed my pace. And I got a point for fastest lap outside the top 10. In qualifying boys we get P6. Which is a very good improvement from last race. And we are only a bit ahead of our teammates. And you won't have seen it because I don't have a clip of it. But I turned the AI down after Baku from 80 it, to 75. The back of a fantastic qualifying session, now, the reason I've done this is because, especially like in Baku, I felt as if I had the pace in qualifying. And he'll start but then when it came position, to the race, I wasn't Charles consistent Leclerc enough with my driving. Baku is not a track today, this year that I've practiced enough to be able to consistently Sainz, do without Norris, using flashbacks like Sergio once every Perez, couple of laps. Because there are some tracks Fernando where I can literally Alonso, not use flashbacks for like 90% of the race, Russell, such as Austria, because I'm very good at it. Ricardo, uh, such as Canada, Gasly, I'd say, other than the Sebastian last Fett, chicane, I think Canada I'm pretty flawless at. Joe, Albon, but it's just Lance it is Stroll, just a bit and dodgy and i know i'm talking over the grid thing and i shouldn't be and Kevin uh, Magnuson not, i don't normally but Natalie that's why Beckham i turn the eye down i feel like my race pace is okay but it's not up to scratch with the ai the ai can consistently put in laps i feel like i can't um without using flashbacks so i i just like to be able to not use flashbacks you know maybe have a little bit of a step out and not lose six temps and then not be able to get that back because I don't have the pace, because I'll make another mistake and another mistake, and then I don't have to, use, and then I have to use flashbacks to not lose loads of time. Which I guess you could just say that's cheating, but I don't care. It is my career mode at the end of the day. And as you can see, moving on to lap four, we're now on the back of Lando Norris. Got DRS using ERS. We're gonna go to the right. Ah, oh, psych to the left, doing a bit of bump cars, and we get the position. But yeah, that's just my reasoning behind putting it to 75. If it gets too easy, like, for example, in Austria, let's say I won the race by, like, 10 seconds, which I highly doubt will happen, because the AI will just sit in my DRS like absolute saddles. But let's say that did happen, and I won the race by, like, 10 seconds, I would put it back up to, like, 78 or something. But, like, last year, boys, you know I was running 90%, 85 to 90% by the end of the year. This year, the AI are a lot more difficult to race against, and I've obviously, it's a new game, so I'm not as consistent yet. And therefore, the AI are just a bit faster than me. So we are obviously going to struggle naturally a bit against them. 
which is unfortunate, but coming to the end of the race now, that was all that happened. We are going to get P4. I think Fernando might be able to hold on for P5. We just weren't fast enough to catch the Ferraris, which is fair enough, quite realistic. And we obviously, they were not fast enough to catch. I think it was Max who won. So yeah, that is a... Uh, that's a GG. That's a GG. Oh dear. But yeah, it is a very, very, very decent setting to have so on and i've seen some people like even before the handling model change were like oh yeah i was running 90 percent last game now i'm running 72 and i was like what i'm running 80 from 90 last year and i'm okay with it and the only reason i was okay with it guys is i was only keeping up with the cars ahead because they were constantly battling and i had drs trains behind me the whole race like that race boys i was pulling away from fernando like he just couldn't get into my drs only towards the end did he actually get close to me and fair play to us we could make progress either of us should have been driver of the day or george but no. it was obviously charles leclerc who didn't move a position but it's fine it's fine and in the championship points max is kind of running away with it but leclerc's there paris is it's, it's, it's mainly max and, max and charles unless mercedes made a second half comeback which is possible, which is possible, but you know, we move, we move into Silverstone, where we get a, pretty much the same amount of R&D points as we did last time, same with Fernando, but it seems like when we run, run shorter races, Fernando gets more R&D points, which is strange, because the practice is shorter, but this was my second lap, I believe I ended up improving by like a second on this lap, and a part of it was due to me being a bit braver in Mackets and Beckets, I, I'd say that even in quali, right, if I had taken it like I was taking it in the race on warm tyres, I probably could have been on pole position, or close to pole position. But yeah, as you can see there, we set 29.683. And then oh, coming to the end of the qualifying session, obviously still running short qualifying, we are going to be looking to set a pretty decent time. And we set a 29 point, don't know what that is, but we are 0.634 tenths off. And Lewis Hamilton and I set an identical lap. And Lando Norris is only 2,000th away from myself and Hamilton. So us three there were very close. Even Science was quite close to Perez. And begin, then the rest were like a second back off George. For George race. sets a crazy George lap, boys. Don't know how he did that, but he did it. Position. But yeah, this and is Lewis the final Hamilton race. So, so far, we've had a run. DNF and back here. It should have been P11 or P12. Would have been not great, Cox. considering... But Norris, like considering it's like P14, it would have been okay. And Perez. Canada, we got P6 Fernando in qualifying and changed Gasly that to P4 in the race. Very Kevin nice. Magnuson. So let's see what we can do this race. Vettel, We're starting P3. Sonoda, Silverstone is not my Charles best Claire, track, I will admit. Albon, and um, yeah, Stroll, I actually restarted this race Daniel because Ricardo, um, I, the game and glitched Valtteri and stuff Bottas. again. I had to restart. Like I was on a couple Vichy. laps in the end and stuff. And I was like, other. but the thing in that race is. I came in for a pit stop one lap earlier, and then I got jumped by, like, seven cars. Like and I was like, what? I was literally two three. I've not even had terrible pace. But I've got jumped by seven cars. And all I'm going to say to you boys is if you're going to... You need to either overcut the AI, but if you don't have faith in your tyre wear, just go on mediums. That's all I'm going to say to you. Start on mediums against the AI. If I had started on mediums here against the AI, I probably would have been fine not going aggressive with Hamilton at the start. But if I'm on socks, I should have been going aggressive with the Mercedes. I should have been trying to get up there. But I didn't. We pit on lap six, you know. Same lap as Verstappen. And um, other cars as well. So we, surely we shouldn't get jumped by too many cars, right? But if we just stayed out a lap extra, I say that we don't even get jumped by any of them. Because we were P3 and we were like... Com I wouldn't say comfortably for P3, but we were, we were P3, expecting. and we were like seven tenths ahead of Lando Norris, who was like in our DRS, but he wasn't catching us. He wasn't like able to overtake us. He got up close a couple times, but like nothing really. And it was normally out of Mackets and Beckets where they are OP anyway. So like I wasn't too concerned, right? Um, about getting overcut. But as you'll see by the end of the race, we got overcut by Sainz, Norris, and uh, Perez. Brilliant. But as you can see, we, we came in at the same time as Verstappen and Leclerc, and they're still behind us. So, we had not amazing pace, because we kept making mistakes. Right, and Mackis and Beckers is too OP for the AI, in my opinion. But we, we were fine. We weren't... We were fine. We got P6 in that race from P3, which I don't think is fair. We should have been P3. But the AI... It, the, my cold tyres, I think, is the reason. And also well, my mistakes with the cold tyres is what cost us and pressure. caused us to get overcut. Now, we should have either overcut ourselves or pit on the same lap as the rest of the AI. 
And in that case, you would have kept positions, etc, etc, etc. But you know what? We're going to move past it. P6 is still a good result for an Alpine, which you've got to admit right now in our career mode is the fifth best car. Because I believe it is Red Bull, Mercedes, so Ferrari, McLaren and ourselves that are the top five cars. So really we should be P9, P10 every single race and we get P6. So we can't really complain too much. In the championship I'm like only just ahead of Fernando now. Three points off George who obviously came second. Yeah, came second. And uh, yeah. So we're going to move into the menu and we're not going to speed this up because we have our contract renewal today. So we are going to renegotiate. We're not going to go risky and stuff like that. We're not going to go, oh, let's move to Mercedes and start a Mercedes career mode. No, I'm not sad. We're going to stay at Alpine. Oh, no, go back to Haas because that's where you started and because of Game Crash, you gave up the series. No, I gave up the series because of a broken AI speed, which has been kind of fixed. And they are still fixing it as well. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we just went medium risk, because if they didn't sign me, I would have just said, you know, screw you, McLaren, get gone, Danny, McLaren, <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine, we, we, we don't mind, I would have done McLaren, by the way, but then I was like, whoa, what's the point when McLaren literally become the third, second, first best team by season two, because literally in everyone's season two, McLaren start getting one, two finishes, like, what's the point in that? Going to a team that I know will get one, two finishes every race next season and will be probably one of the best cars. What's the point in going to there? Exactly. I'd rather be fighting McLaren next year for wins as um, Alpine and McLaren as the best two teams. That would be fucking sick. But yeah, we, we're just going to gloss over that now because we are getting towards the end of the episode and it, it has been a double whammy, which means there has been three, set of upgrade, three sets of upgrades made, which you haven't seen. You're only seeing this last one. But you can kind of see the progress in the car if you pause it here and there. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. There will be a 50% Austria race, which will be back to normal. Full qualifying, 50% race. Sprint race as well, actually. Which is going to be pretty cool. So that's going to be a massive one. So I might actually do short qualifying. Yeah, I feel like when it's a sprint race, we should do a short qualifying. Because I feel like other circuits, like I'm only doing short qualifying this week. Because obviously I'm pressured for time a little bit. And also I just don't want to spend ages doing qualifying for stuff. So I'd say when it comes to sprint races we do short qualifying. Then we have the sprint qualifying. Then we have the race. And then when it comes to most other tracks. We're either we're going to do full qualifying and 25% or full qualifying and 50%. Thank you for watching. See you next time.